Welcome to the AquaFlow Crypto Lab. I hope you had a great weekend. Today we are going to dive into a simple chart. But yet, this chart is one of the most useful charts you'll ever see for XRP. A lot of information can be extracted from it and our mission, if you accept it, is to decode the message embedded into these candles. After this, I'll give you an update on the moonshot chart. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the AquaFlow Crypto Lab. This is one of my last videos before my week off, so I wanted to share a special chart with you. We are going to analyze this chart together, step by step, so you can have a complete understanding of how I use this chart. If you're new here, this channel is still very young, but it's growing fast. And here, we are trying to have the most accurate analysis possible by using all kinds of tools available to us and by creating new ones. So you're welcome to join the Crypto Lab by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell to not miss the next videos. Let's begin. In one of the first videos of this channel, I showed you how we could use moving averages to remove the noise of the market. Indeed, as you notice, there is a lot of volatility in these markets. And you have to be able to remove the noise to be able to manage your emotions. And one way of doing this is by smoothing the trend. As you can see here, we are using a moving average and it's smoothing the price action. So you are not disturbed by all the volatility anymore. However, there is another way and it's so simple that most of the time we don't think about it. And the solution is to use a bigger time frame. On this chart, we are using a six month time frame chart. As you can see, this chart is way cleaner and it removes all the noise of the market. So now let's make this chart speak to us. Let's take the very first candle. If you take the closing price of this candle, you can already see what's happening. We have a very, very strong resistance just right here. We went down after we went straight up to retest the same level and we went down again. So you can already observe that the closing price of the first bull run of XRP was a critical level for the price action. Now let's take the opening price. Do you see what's going on? We have a very strong support. You can see we have a week here for it and then we used it as a critical support for all the bear market of XRP. So as each candle is six months, you can see that we used it as a strong support for two years and a half because you, we have a week here too. And I'm not done yet. If we take the low price of this candle, you can see that it was a very, very strong support and it was the low of the bear market here and here again. So, so far we have three lines and each line is based on the closing price, the opening price and the low price of the bull market of XRP. In 2013, these prices were critical levels for the entire bear market of XRP. Now let's have the same approach for the current situation. If you take the closing price of the bull market top, you see that this is exactly the price that we have for this candle. And we had a very strong rejection, right? So we know that during this phase, we went down, then we went up to retest at the very same level. Here we went down and we went up to retest the very same level. It didn't happen in the same time window because here we went down and then we went straight up. But here we went down into multiple years of a bear market and then 
we went up. Now, what about the opening price of the candle? As you can see here, if we put the line on the opening price, we have to the tick, guys, to the tick, the exact local bottom of XRP in 2018. This is when everybody thought that XRP had reached his bottom for the entire bear market. But as you can notice, we crossed it to the downside and then we used it as a strong resistance because look, we had a big week, we have a big week below it. Oh guys, sorry for the mistake, this should be green. Now you know what I'm about to do. I will use the red line for the low price of this candle and it was our bottom guys. We can see that with the same analysis that we made for this phase of the previous market, we have a similar result. We are able to detect the major turnaround point of the market. First, we used the orange line as a strong resistance. After this, we tested the green line as a strong support. We have a bounce. We went below it. We tested the red line. Then we used the green line as a strong resistance because we have big weeks above it. Then we went straight up to the orange line again to use it as a strong resistance. Then we went down. Okay. And now we are in this current candle and we can use other candles to identify the critical levels for XRP. Look, if we use this candle and we take the very top, it was the exact top of this candle. And I'm not done yet. If I take the closing price of this candle, it was the perfect top, as you can see, of this candle. Isn't it amazing, guys? And for this candle, if I take the very top, look, it was the very bottom of this candle. Okay, so this candle is the current one. It will be closed at the end of the year. So it's still very early to say that this is the bottom of this candle. So far, we are using it as our current bottom. And as you know, I'm still bullish for the market. So I hope that we will make a higher high by the end of the year. So with this simple analysis, you can see that we have a clear understanding of the critical levels for XRP and the last level to overcome is the $2 mark and it is our orange line. Let me know in the comments what you think about this straightforward analysis. I cannot make it more simple guys. It's very straightforward. And with this overview, you have a clear understanding of what's going on right now. Now let's move to the moonshot chart. As you know, this chart is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing because so far it's very accurate. And every time we have a cross between these two moving averages, we have a big, big move in the market. Either we go into a bear market, either we have a moonshot. So far we had been into a bear market for a very, very long time. I want to remind you that this is a XRP against BTC chart. And right now we are waiting for a cross between the yellow line and the green line. For now, we are still bouncing between the yellow line and the green line. We used it as a strong resistance here, a strong resistance again, and a strong resistance just here. But as you notice, we are using the yellow line as a support. So right now we are bouncing between the two lines and I hope that soon we will be able to break it to the upside. We will open a new candle in two days, but as you know, I will not be available. So yeah, you will have an update of this chart in a little bit more than one week. And hopefully the next time I show you about this chart, we have the price 
above the green line. And this will be a major event for XRP because the first step before having a cross between the yellow line and the green line is to have the price above the green line. So if you liked this content, show me your support by subscribing to the channel, hit the notification bell, you can like the video and let me a comment below to let me know what you think about this analysis. That's all for today's video. It's time to leave the crypto lab. Thanks for watching. Do not ever, ever be afraid to make new experiments. And if someone tells you you're crazy, just tell them. Time will tell.